Welcome back to Pop Culture Conspiracy. I'm your host, T. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the current state of female rap. This is a follow-up video from yesterday's short where I was discussing how Glorilla, as a new artist, is already outselling many of her peers who have been in the game much longer than her and some who have Grammys. So I found that pretty alarming. Now, I have a list of female rapper names written down. If I do not mention your favorite female female rapper or I overlook somebody who you think is worth a mention, please comment below. I did not name them because I did not remember them. Thus, I feel like they have more work to do. You do not have to agree. This is a commentary channel. I am open to all different perspectives. I am open to different takes. So with that being said, let's talk in the comments. Please like, share, and subscribe, and please turn on your notifications. So I want to go ahead and address the elephant in the room which is how is brand new artist Glorilla outselling three-time Grammy Award winning half a decade in the game, Megan Thee Stallion? And I'm gonna tell you why I believe that that is. I think Glorilla as a new artist is a breath of fresh air because she doesn't have all of the baggage that Megan Thee Stallion has accumulated over the last five years. Glorilla doesn't have any major scandals, any major beefs yet. I think her deeper voice appeals more to the male listener. And I think that there's a certain demographic of people that genuinely enjoy Glorilla's music. I think Glorilla is bringing back club music, dance music, and um, Megan Thee Stallion is so busy trying to appeal to an Asian audience. I think the Watashiwa star is catchy, but I don't think that it was a genuine hit. I think, I think Rock Nation put a lot of money behind pushing it on TikTok. But do I think that people are liking it as much as they like a lot of Glorilla's recent singles? No, I don't. I just don't. I think Megan Thee Stallion is oversaturated right now. Everywhere you go is Megan Thee Stallion. And the music sales and the music content isn't matching that level of promo and press. It's just not. I think what's also working against Megan is... The Nikki beef and the Rock Nation situation, I think people who are woke and who have discernment understand that Rock Nation isn't pushing her because they genuinely believe in her. They're pushing her because they have a vendetta against another artist. And people just don't like that. I've told you guys before, I stopped messing with Megan when she went against Carl Crawford. That was the end of me and Megan. And then the Nikki beef didn't make it any better. So, you know, the Tory situation was, was long and drawn out. It did not serve her. It did not benefit her because people who have a brain know that Megan is a liar and that she is an industry chick through and through. She'll do any ritual. She'll do any PR stunt. She, again, will happily lie and betray you. She's disloyal. That Cardi B shit was disloyalty at its finest. And again, it's only disloyal because you were running your mouth about Cardi only to go back and collab with her. You didn't have to talk shit about Cardi B at all. You chose to do that to, to try to rub up to Nicki Minaj. And then you double back and you go do some snake shit. So... Again, mind you, all of the snake, the snake programming, you know, she goes from being a horse to a snake to a butterfly. She's getting lost in the sauce. And so she has got so much baggage that has changed how people see her. People who are solid can't even get into her music anymore because they have done so much over there at Rock Nation that has degraded her character. And a lot of it is her own doing too. But again, I think Jay-Z definitely put her up to that Tory bullshit and then that really backfired against her. So there's just so much personally that is clouding how people see her that again, people who are actually solid are not even interested in hearing her music because that's how I feel. Megan has done too much scandalous shit. Her music has not evolved. She's still talking about the same shit. And it's annoying to hear somebody complain about anxiety and trauma and losing their mom and all of this bullshit when you are the culprit behind all of that. We know how the industry works. I never believed that her mama was really sick. And we know that 
Yo ass definitely was used as a puppet and as a pawn in that Tory Lane shit. You claim that you have anxiety and all of this and that, but you stayed down to somebody's club shaking ass. You know what I'm saying? You, your, your actions are not matching your words. And I think people are just tired and worn out with Megan's stunts and antics. So I'm going to just sum that up right there. Megan Thee Stallion's last project, her self-titled project, did 64,000 64, sales. I also believe that whatever she is doing, whatever her and Beyonce and again, Rock Nation are doing with her constantly trying to emulate Beyonce is just not, it's not hitting. There's only one Beyonce. The constant, you know, channeling Beyonce and the constant trying to use Beyonce's likability to justify and vindicate why you should be likable and why you should be successful you know what I mean like it's just not jiving Megan goodbye Glorilla I don't like your music but you unfortunately are better than a lot of the new artists and I say unfortunately because I don't think Glorilla is that good I just don't we've talked about this I don't like her music at all but it's better than JT's last project I don't like Lotto as a person, and from what I've seen her bring to us, the public, and her and Glorilla is better than Ice Spice. So this is what we have. This, this is this is what we got to deal with if you want to deal with it. Let's go ahead and move into the other girls. Let's go ahead and move into Lotto. Lotto again, decent rapper, but. You're corny. Your name, corny. Um, you know, you don't write your own music, corny. You all them reference tracks got leaked. I didn't forget that shit, corny. Going against Nicki Minaj, corny. Relationship with Twenty One Savage that you can't really talk about, but you do talk about, corny. Um, just corny, corny, corny. Tomato, tomato, cornball. Like I don't like Lotto's. I just don't like her persona. And again, I don't know what's wrong with these girls. I don't know why they can't just release good music. Why does it have to be stunts and tricks and giggles and antics? Like, that's not serving you. Nikki Beef is not serving you. I really don't like Lotto's arrogance. She is very arrogant. And again, not original. A biter, a constant biter, constantly um, borrowing ideas from somebody that she claims she doesn't like, borrowing from Sexy Red, borrowing from Ice Spice, just not original, not creative, a biter. She's decent with her rapping, and I feel like she's too decent to not be original. And again, who cares if you're a good rapper? You are just like Cardi B. You're a good reciter because you don't write. Lotto, goodbye. Let's go ahead and move on to JT. JT. You piss Nicki Minaj off and not piss her fan base off. I think JT is decent. I like her personality-wise more than Carisha. I don't really like Carisha. But when it comes to JT, your music sucks. Your solo music sucks. You have a lot of work to do. We've talked about this when I did the full length talking about her and Glorilla. JT has got a lot of work to do. And... Coming in at, coming in at 26,000 sales, you sold less albums than Ice Spice. That's a problem, mama. Like, you got to work on that. And again, I think you have one more chance before people just write you off. You better find some budget. You better find some bars. You better find some uh, speech classes. Because if you don't, you're done. Like, you're done. Ice Spice is already done. I told you guys, I made a short a couple weeks back and I was saying, did you notice how Ice Spice released the project this year, released the album, and she went from being nominated and winning Best New Artist at the VMAs to not a single nomination, not a single performance, wasn't even at the VMAs. They said she was at a fashion show because you've been deactivated. That Cleo Trapper situation ended her i told you guys these labels are broke y'all notice if you're really tuned in the labels are broke and let me go ahead and touch back on megan real quick i think that that's part of why 
we are seeing a fall off of Megan. I think Rock Nation is low-key pushing Glorilla because we've talked about this. Glorilla is signed to Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti is signed to Jay-Z. So somewhere, that's why she was at the all-white party being pictured with uh, Beyonce. There's a reason why when Beyonce did that, I think it was GQ, where she was, they were asking her about like artists that she likes and she mentioned Glorilla and not Megan. Because I think Rock Nation is about to start pushing Glorilla even harder because they're not seeing a return from Megan. She's a lot of money with a very little ROI. So I think um, Megan's about to be done. But when it comes to Ice Spice, same thing. Ice Spice is on 10K Projects, which is somehow affiliated with Warner. Warner is over Atlantic. Atlantic is broke. Okay, Cardi B is signed to Atlantic. They're broke. They don't have money to keep, you know, um, funding gimmicks. So if you're not selling, you're shelved. You're done. You're deactivated. I think Ice Spice was always a puppet. She was here to put to promote uh, and push a, an agenda and programming. And when it wasn't sticking, they worked against her because labels do this. And they deactivated her ass. I told you guys in a previous video, that situation with the Nikki text messages, the Cleo Trappa shit, and then she had one more situation that just did not really work out for her. And that turned the public off. And next thing you know, we don't hear about her period. We don't hear about her period. It's been silence. The Nicki Minaj text came out. The low album sales and then Cleo Trappa. I think those three things were the nails in her coffin. I think the labels were like, you know what? We about to end this bitch because she just she's just not doing it. So she's out. She only sold 28K her first week. Again, JT came in at 26K. JT, that is horrible. Doing worse than Ice Spice after being in a group for several years. Babe, you should be nervous. You should be worried. Sexy Red doing 27K her first week. Sexy Red, another gimmick. I think Sexy Red, again, is bloodline. She's here for a reason. Um, I talked about this in several videos. So I think Sexy Red is going to continue to be here because her program is not done yet. There's a reason why Drake and Nicki Minaj gave her such a big cosign because the labels have a vested interest in her. Especially as a brown-skinned woman who pushes such a foul and degenerate um, image, they like that shit. Her program isn't done. They want her to continue to be here to continue to push that message. JT is hood. Glorilla is hood. Megan is like hood. But they don't push STD lip glosses neither. Uh, Sexy Red does. So the industry is going to keep her here until they're done promoting that image, okay? In my opinion. I want to get on Cardi B real quick. Cardi B is done. She claims she has an album coming out. She can release an album if they allow it, but it won't do well. It won't. Her gimmicks have turned us off. The constant divorce, uh, antics with Offset. She's always on live whining and complaining. She's done. She's cooked. The album may or may not come out. It doesn't really matter because they're going to lose money. So they should just go ahead and just not lose the money and take the loss that they've already taken and not push any more Cardi B music. I do not want to see an album by Cardi B. She's annoying. I want her out of here. She's another artist. She's only here because she's a personality and she's pushing agendas and gimmicks and antics. She's always been a puppet. She's so whack. And then we have Doja and Nikki, the two artists that are actually moving units. Even Doja Cat's last album saw quite a dip from Planet Her. And I think that's because the satanic antics are rubbing us the wrong way. It's definitely rubbing me the wrong way. I don't really like Doja because I've told you guys multiple times. She sounds like Nicki Jr. I like Nicki Minaj. I don't want to hear somebody that sounds like a ripoff of Nicki Minaj. So that rubs me the wrong way with her. 
And then, um, again, all the satanic bullshit. It's like Doja, gone, bye. I stopped listening to Playboy Cardi and Lil Uzi Vert for the same reason. Once you show that you down with that shit to that extent, you can really go and get the fuck on. Um, I think, again, Doja has some originality, but again, she needs to focus on being her own artist and just not biting Nikki so much. I don't really like it. And I know y'all don't agree with that. Y'all don't see it. Y'all don't hear it. Every time I mention that, y'all are like, no, she doesn't sound like Nicki. Yes, she does. Pay attention and listen. When it comes to Nicki Minaj, still one of the best. Still one of the best. Still the highest selling. Um, I know a lot of you guys, even me sometimes, I don't really like all of Nicki Minaj's antics. She's very animated. I do wish she would be quiet more because I just don't understand the need to do some of the shit that she does i'm just like i would just ignore a lot of shit but we can't control what she wants to do not everybody is beyonce that doesn't have an ounce of their soul left some people still have a personality some of them still have a some type of remnants of themselves so okay if she wants to be animated and show off her husband and go back and forth okay fine because the music is musicking, the sales are selling, the bars are hitting, and that's why she is still the queen. And I just want this video, just like the short, to prove to these new girls, stop getting involved in beefs that are not serving you. Stop, it's dry and it's whack and it's tired. Focus on writing. You have no business in a rap beef if you don't write your own music. What's that a beef about? You don't have any real, foundation for beef so so stop stop letting people use you to be a puppet let's talk in the comments what do y'all think